Hi colors, so check out this amazing disponal book with our beautiful blushing unicorn cover design. I really wanted to show how we use it and there are so many different ways you can use um, disponal books. I, one of the ways that I use them is kind of like a bullet journal so I really love note taking and expressing myself through writing and drawing and painting so um i decided to show some of the ways that you can use it and um, so in the first page i made a little to-do list and highlighted an area for my notes and i just i felt like the paper needed a little bit of life so i went in with my watercolors uh, and did like a basic little sketch beforehand uh, to know exactly where I'd, you know, place my little flowers and thing. So I decided to do some flowers. And the cool thing about this paper is uh, it you have no bleed through when you're using paints, when you use markers, and when you're even using gel pens. So it makes it really easy. The detachable pages uh, makes it very easy to organize your notes and rearrange them where you want. So, for example, how I was able to take the page out and, you know, line up my heart the way that I wanted to, made it real cool and to just pop it back in, makes it very easy. So, in this uh, particular notebook, I put in three different types of paper. You get line paper, dot grid, and blank. And in this section, I decided to use my dot grid paper. Um, the dots are very light, and so it's enough for you to see it, but it's not too harsh where it gets in the way of your doodling and note taking. So, I decided to use this area to for my important dates for the rest of the year. So. I just made an area to put down um, the months and draw little blocks. So I made it easy by popping the page out and drawing in my line so that it does so anything doesn't get in the way. So it just so that I can focus on making that look really neat and nice. And yeah, and I just you know I just like something extra, so I decided to put a little, little bit of sparkles with my gel pen you know just to give it something extra so i'm flipping through to my blank pages and i wanted to doodle now i put in some blank pages because i really like to draw and i'm more accustomed to doing digital drawing and i'm falling into drawing traditionally and painting i'm no expert and i'm still learning and I have so much to learn, especially when it comes to watercolor because I get so interested in using them. And I decided to go in with some black to do a nice cute painting. And I find it didn't come out too bad, you know. So this is my attempt at a chubby little cat. And I said I wanted to make her look black and have a really nice um, drawing piece. So the intention for drawing this out is to have a nice little welcome page and it's a good excuse to to practice my writing and to practice you know my drawing and my painting projects so i was really able to go in and put a lot of watercolor on this page because the paper took to the watercolor so well so the options when it comes to creativity when it comes to using any type of writing tool is endless with our paper and they're super bright white so everything you put on here will stand out so no taking to learn planning even using these as bullet journals and to, uh, is a really good idea that you should really employ so these notebooks can be so useful so I just did a little bit of highlights for the cat and um, it took a lot of time. I had to leave. I had to leave this cat to try a little bit. Um, but that's okay. Which is which is natural so I could go in to give it a little bit more di um, dimension. And how it was coming out was kind of frightening me because I was concerned that it didn't come out good. It's like I say, a new to painting with watercolors but so far so good you know so i just this was my attempt of doing this amazing doodle
So I realized that I didn't send him a cut very well. So I say, well, since I just experimented with the paints, let me just throw some flowers in the side here. So that's my attempt to doing roses. So I did a little doodle of roses and actually doodling roses is some of the easiest things it have some simple ways to do them that it'll just look really nice you know and like i say nobody had to do all these watercolors and these paintings and things it have, um, you can use color pencils or gel pens or anything like that that would really make your things look so good and what i like to do too that really helps pop it because i hope i just need to watercolor painting you know i like to do a little mixed media and use some pens like preferably a, a real good gel pen and you know outline it to give it the extra life now you'd have to do that with everything i did this i didn't do that with the cat because i felt like i got a uh, better the cat down so while the cat was drying up a bit because i still had some to do some more to do on her i uh, decided well let me continue working on these flowers you know to fill up that space and just to really draw whatever came to my mind and that is exactly what came to my mind just some uh, very simple very 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 simple roses and uh, just a strange cat so it's it just it's lovely to look at i find she come out so so nice and i just i was kind of surprised so i was like this is not half bad you know so and i am very heavy-handed that's the next thing to note uh, especially when it comes to pencil markers i'm very heavy-handed and the fact that i could press on these and the back has not bleed through like is awesome you'll just see like you know when you press real hard that little indentation on the paper but other than that is is awesome you know but it was on the page i'm writing you know it speaks when i create so it was a little lot of fun sorry about that but uh, so far everything came out really really nice i hope this inspires you guys to create and to make your doodles and to use uh, our new books our bullet journals any type you want we have the our classic optic journals and, and um, also the desk journals to give you really good ideas for you can rearrange your notes and enjoy note taking